Yo, what is up guys? Bass and Coffee here. We just hit up the Bassmaster Expo and met up with the Guggins. Said hello, got some pictures, and now we're at a local pond in Knoxville, Tennessee. We got King Bassin right here. We're gonna do some fishing. I'm gonna use the crankbait and he's gonna use the chatterbait. We're gonna see what's in this water. Never fished it in my life. Didn't realize it was here. It's probably like a two hour drive from my house. We're gonna see what kind of fish are in this pond. It looks like a pond inside of a park, but I'm not sure where it leads. But anyways, it looks pretty good. There's some rocks over there, some ducks over there. We're gonna try our best to cover this whole area, see what we can get hooked up on. So let's go fishing. Ducks, ducks, ducks. What up, ducks? This looks murky. Favorite crankbait by far, the Runtiel shallow crankbaits. See if we can get a fish right here. It looks shallow. The backpack's still open. Camera stuff's gonna go bye-bye. Let's see what kind of fish are in here. We're gonna dissect this lake like it's a new lake. Comment below what you guys would use here. If you guys have fish here, I know you local guys, follow me. What baits would you use here? What did I buy at the Bassmaster Expo in Knoxville? I bought another favorite rod, but it's the uh, Lunkers Sniper Edition. Lunker Sniper Edition, I believe. It was a spinning rod, because I broke my Abu Garcia spinning rod, and I was looking for a new one for a while, and this one popped up, so I just went ahead and bought it. It was like 130 bucks. 142 plus tax. Not bad at all. I wonder where the fish would be at. I'm gonna try over there at that point. Let's walk over there. I'm only here for one day, so I tried out a different pond. Didn't do any good. I don't think there was any fish in there at all. But uh let's hopefully this one this one will yield some fish. I don't know. Oh shoot, I forgot to change my shoes. Hopefully I don't step in any duck poop check that out guys savage just want one fish that's all I need is just one fish to make a video got him dude there's one let's go there's a fish it's a bass dude it's a bass let's go boys we got confirmation that there are bass in here. Hopefully we can get another one. Dude, this fish is pretty warm, I think. It's pretty warm, not gonna lie. Oh my God, let's go. First fish out here in this new pond that I found. Not big, but hopefully there's bigger ones in here. We we'll get the release on this little, little flare fish. We know there's bass in here, so let's try to catch some bass. Let's go. Might be some more in this corner. This is honestly my favorite setup to use with a crankbait. Crankbait, Phantom Rig Rod, my favorite, and a PC Fun Phantom X in the 5.3 to one gear ratio. This is the perfect setup right here. Oh no. Oh, I thought I had a fish, but I'm snagged. Dude, I'm so glad I got to meet the Guggen squad, except for Flair. Flair didn't make it, but Perrick, Lake Fork Guy, Lunkers, and John B. all came to the Knoxville Bassmaster Classic Expo. And that's pretty cool. Shoot, I almost hit that duck. Oh, I thought I had a fish. Oh, dude, there it is. What the heck? Oh my God. How lucky is that, guys? I was about to pull up my lure, and this fish came out of nowhere and hit it on top of the water. It may just have a little small fish in here. Fish number two on the crank. 
Here you go, buddy. Let's try to catch another one. Let's go. I'm just giving it a medium re retrieve on a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. Bluebird skies today. A little bit wind. Pretty chilly out here. I'd say 48 degrees right now. Oh, I just had a hit. Could have been the bottom, not sure. Damn, son. What the hell? This dang wind, dude. I'm serious, dude. My luck with winds. Come on, bro. Get that big fish out of here, dude. Holy crap. I tell you guys, can you hear that? Can you guys hear that wind? This wind's kicking my ass. Well, guys, I was going to film at the Bassmaster Expo, but there's just too much people, dude. Too much people. So why not just film a fishing video for you guys? I know you guys probably rather see some fishing than some random people walking by. Let's see how deep it is. Oh, it's not that deep, dude. I think it's a hard bottom. I'm pretty sure it's hard bottom because I just felt some concrete, dude. I just felt some concrete down there. You caught two? How'd you get that much? I got two. How much did you get? You got two? So you got zero. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna try something else. We may do some finesse fishing. What better way to end the day with using some Guggen baits? We're gonna put a bandito bug on here. Bandito bug. Here we go. Bandito bug by Guggen Baits. This thing's gonna be the juice. How many of y'all have caught some fish on the Bandito bug? I think I caught one fish, I don't remember. I think I caught one fish on this. Bandito bug, hope you can get me a bunch of fish. Let's go. My pants is falling down. Let's go. Oh, I got fish. Oh, I had a fish, dude. I had a fish. That's a fish. Got him, dude. No! No! Dude, that's a fish, bro. That's 100% fish. It's getting dark. Oh. I need to catch one more fish. Don't know where to fish. This place is not good. If you guys have fished here and you think this place is good, drop a comment. Tell me if there's any big fish in here. Maybe I'll come back with some better arsenal. <coughs> Let's go, boys. Let's go. On the Guggen bait, bro. Let's go. Dang, dude. Almost broke my rod up there in the ceiling. Could have broke my rod. But on the bandito bug. Hell yeah. I'll take it. Dude, I'll take this fish. This fish is pretty warm. Not gonna lie. There you go, buddy. On the bandito bug. Let's go. And with that fish, I'm thinking I'm gonna end the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to go check out these bandito bugs, this reel, and this rod. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. And as always, keep fishing. Never stop. John B. Let's go. What is up, guys? Welcome to Bassy Coffee.